All right, so first up here is a picture of the 1979 Susan B. Anthony Dollar. Now there's two types to look for. You got the narrow rim and the wide rim. The narrow rim is the picture up top, the wide rim down there at the bottom. Now if we look at the bottom image and we look at the date 1979, you can see how close the bottom of the date like say for instance the one in the nine there the first 19 of 1979 you see how that's almost touching the rim there whereas up top you can see that the rim is more narrow and the date is farther away so the wide rim is more scarce the one you kind of want to look for and the narrow rim is the more common one now here's an example of a 1979 susan b anthony dollar that has that wide rim now of course this has a very high grade as well so that's what's going to give it uh, most of its value now this coin here sold for over six thousand four hundred dollars now I'm going to show you one that isn't graded as high but it's still graded at a mint state 64 with the wide rim so you can really see the difference from mint state 64 to mint state 67 you go from over six thousand dollars to this coin only selling for sixty dollars so that grade is extremely, extremely important. If you're not familiar with coin grading, I have a whole coin grading video on my channel. Next up is a 2007 presidential dollar coin. Now this is a high graded coin as well, graded at a mint state 66, but it also has the missing edge lettering. I know you see the design of the coin right now, but on these coins, they have lettering on the edge. So if you were to turn this coin sideways and look there all the way on the edge of the coin, you'd see that lettering. However, some of them are missing the lettering and that's what will give the coin some value as well. Now this coin here sold for over $2,500. All right, now here is an Eisenhower dollar coin. All right, so this is just like a stock image of a coin. I wanna show you the different weights between a non-silver Eisenhower dollar and a 40% silver clad. Eisenhower dollar. So you could see the difference in weight there. The copper nickel clad is 22.68 grams and then the 40% silver clad is 24.624 grams. All right, so keep that in mind because you wanna weigh your coins uh, to know this next type of error. And you can weigh your coins by getting a coin scale on couchcollectibles.com. Link's always in the description. All right, so here it is, a 1976 Denver minted Eisenhower dollar. Now what makes this coin valuable is that it was struck on a 40% silver planchet. Now it was not supposed to be struck on a 40% silver planchet. Now this thing has been circulated. You see it's only graded at an AU55, so not a mint stated grade or anything like that. So someone did come across and find this thing. Now this coin sold for over $8,000, an $8,000 $1 coin. All right, so this coin here, this guy actually received this from the bank. All right, it's a Susan B. Anthony dollar design that is struck on a Sacagawea dollar planchet. So very, very cool. You guys know what Sacagawea dollars are, I'm assuming. They got that gold color like color, and that's why we got you know the Susan B. Anthony design here on a gold looking coin. Now, this coin here is uh, very, very valuable. This coin sold for over $10,000. $10,000. So if you guys have any coins with like weird different types of colors, I have a whole video on where to sell your coins, where to post images of your coins and get feedback from other collectors. So be sure to just type in how to sell your coins on YouTube and you'll be able to find my video. All right guys, until tomorrow, I'll see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.